Welcome back guys, this is episode 5 of the Dodge Charger build. We were building and connecting two different episodes together, the last one. So we, in episode 4, we had the suspension and piston and the brakes all together. And we used the episode 2, I believe, with the wheel and we attached on. So this is what we came out with. Um, every five episodes I'm going to be covering sort of a... Uh, lump sum of what we've done so to start off with in episode three we covered the front end uh the front grille which again really nice finish to them again episode two we had the steering wheel with the wheel and then episode one we had the intake and we also had the hood as well so today we are going to be covering, I think, some of the chassis. Uh, I will unbox this and show you guys uh, close up. But we'll start with uh, showing you a quick little look over the magazine. So episode five. <clears throat> Again, give you a little... People who have been watching already know. Uh, if anyone knew, first few pages cover uh, a bit of information about the car the franchise films etc we go into a bit of detail on what we get in the package so we can see here we get the frame it tells you exactly what the frame is or well, the chassis anyway a few other parts they're all labeled how many screws you get and then also at the very bottom it tells us what we're going to be building so it's going to be the front section today and then straight away we go straight into a picture diagram with a bit of information, quite clear to read, and then it is pretty much straightforward. And so today it looks like we're going to be using the wheel that we built, um, and then putting the front end on. But anyways, listen to me talking. We'll dive straight into it. I'll get the box open, show you guys what exactly you um you get in the package. You know my opinion on the quality. As always, I'll tell you guys my honest opinion, and then we'll go from there, really. So, as for the packaging, yeah, it was a little different. So, today we got it in a packet like this. I'm kind of used to getting stuff in this type of style. Um, it did come like this. There is a another layer on it, but there was some loose screws. Now, I don't know why that is, but... I wasn't too keen on that. But anyways, we'll, uh, like I said, we'll dive right in and we'll go from there. So straight off the packet. Well. Really sturdy piece. A bit of weight to it as well. Um, like I say, the, like I say, the parts are high quality. You know, I've not had a single problem with any of the parts whatsoever yeah we've got entire metal pieces in this now there's a mixture of metal and um, molded plastic both being high quality so we have a really nice finish uh, bar my finger marks and some dog hair but we'll clean that off got the metal the wheel again is metal uh, everything on this piece is metal except from the disc brakes themselves Instead of me blabbing on, we'll get right on to uh, putting these guys together. So I thought that before we start, we did get a spring with uh, episode four, which did state for a later episode, which we're going to be using in today's episode, where we actually place it into the shock absorber itself. spring from episode four so as we do we just lift the shock itself 
place the spring actually in upside down and then you again press fit in it's not the most convenient thing to do it does fall out if you like me and have the look with me with a bit of messing around it will go back in there we go so now with the shock actually in there a working shock at that so now the wheel should hold itself unless it wants to fall out Right, so sorry about this guys. So we have the pin you put on here and the two screws go in here for the mount. Really fidgety. So there we have it. There it is, episode five, which is the front side of the frame. You've got the underside of the frame as well. The wheel attached now to the frame as well. Really neat. The uh, the spring is a bit of a fidgy one. Uh, I am going to save that. This at least. Um, there we have it, guys. So episode five is complete. We've got the wheel and the shock mount attached to the frame. We have the one of the axles onto the bar, one hanging there for when we put more parts on it. But so far, so good. We, uh, we put a plate on as well, and then we'll be figuring out where goes what goes where, should I say? But for now, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, sorry if this is uh, a bit sort of puzzled. It was a bit finicky this this one. Um, but if you did like. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more if you were uh, liking what you see. I will link uh, the last four episodes as well in the link down below. Any questions, just leave in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as much as I can. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Just a quick edit. <laughs> we forgot to put in the screws there. Um, and screws there. So please don't be mistaken that they were just hanging there. Uh, I forgot personally, I thought they were loose so I checked back, I just wasn't looking. <laughs>